Hi guys, welcome to a new video and today we are in the kitchen, not in the workshop which is right next door so we are going to be doing some cooking and today we are going to be making a carbonara. The reason for this primarily is because I was at my friend's party and he was having an Italian night because he just came back from, just back from Sicily so I thought why not make a, an Italian dish, a carbonara because we're kind of in the mood for one and this will feed me for like the, the week. So here we go. So I've not made my homemade pasta this time, I just went with the, the old store bought. So around about 350 grams of pasta. I'm using four eggs and I'm using also a mixture of Parmesino and Peric, Pericana. I, I was gonna, I can't say, say the, the exact name of that without. Peric, Pericana. I, I was gonna, can't say, say the, the exact name of that without remembering it. Um, and some, some a wee bit of smoked pancetta. If you can get the actual pancetta with, where you can cut up and dice and take all the fat off, I would go for that, but unfortunately Tesco just give me that. And uh, some black pepper, salt, and garlic. So this is my homemade garlic, my homemade garlic, my homegrown garlic. I, I think I started growing, growing it too late, but it's got a great garlic flavour and smell. But I also grew them from um, store-bought garlic, so it kind of worked and it kind of didn't. I only got two out of the... I think only planted three. So, two out of the three succeeded, so that's more than 50% more than success. I think it's at 66.5% success rate, I have no idea. Percentage is not my game. And I think that's all the ingredients that we need, just to start boiling some water. So, getting the water up to the boil. So a wee bit of the history of the carbonara. The carbonara is mainly associated with Rome and the Lazio regions, so a wee bit we wee bit history there with the football teams of Roma and Lazio. My my good friend Daniele, he is a big Roma supporter, so he does not like Lazio. And the Italians are very passionate about their football. Now, there's a wee bit of speculation where the carbonara did come from, but there's docu documented in Cavacci's 1839 Napoleta cookbook because the name comes from the word carbonaro. Coal burner, some believe the dish was created as a, a, a hearty, ease, hearty, easy to make meal by men working outdoors for long periods. Others trace it to the Allied liberation of Rome in 1944 with the American GIs bringing their daily ration of eggs and bacon to a local restaurant to add to the limited Italian menu, supporting the story of the first written reference to the dish in the newspaper La Stampa in 1950, describing the dish as prized by American servicemen shortly after Carbonara also appeared in Elizabeth David's classic 1954 book Italian food. So there's a little bit of history behind the carbonara for you. Either from the working men of Italy or the GI Joes bringing their rations to the liberation of Rome. Now while your water is heating up what you can do is you can prepare some, some of your dishes. We're going to need I'm using the four eggs, so I'm just going to break the eggs. I'm bashing them off a flat surface. Apparently, that's a good way of making sure there's no none of the shells stuck in there. So you can you can see there that there's no shells there. Get a fork and just lightly beat beat the eggs. Now, the Parmesan cheese is going to get mixed in with it, so it's 
that was a quarter pack and a half. I'm going to use half, half this pack here. So I'm going to leave a wee bit left for grating. And I'm going to grate some pecorino cheese into here as well. So it's going to be a very cheesy egg mix. So just keep beating until all the cheese is broken. Uh, I'm just going to grate a wee bit of this. I'm going to mix that in as well. And our eggs will be prepared. And just finish off with some black pepper. So, adding just a wee bit of salt to the bowl and let it cook off there until it is al dente, which is just cooked. And once the pasta falls into the bowl, I will cover it for 10 minutes, or uh, as I said, until it's al dente. So as you can see, the pasta has now fallen in. Cover it for up to 10 minutes until it's al dente. So now I'm going to prepare pancetta. So I'll just let in the pan heat up. I cook this away. I'm just going to wash my hands. My pasta fork. I'm still a wee bit tough. Now. This needs a few more minutes. Right, and while that's sticking there, we're going to crush the garlic just so it's just so it's bruised a wee bit, and we're just going to let it cook in there with the cook in there with the pancetta. And we're going to slowly roast this. So the garlic comes out of the dish; it doesn't stay in. So I wouldn't be using that lazy, lazy garlic. Now what I did mention earlier is you do need to have some butter as well. It's on a separate hob. says use a wok and everything like that but I don't I'm gonna add the pancetta to that my my cooking surface isn't big enough for all these these a few big pots on so I'm just gonna now it's cooking nicely so I'm just gonna slow the cooking process down there just now I'm gonna recheck my pasta now you do not want to chuck away your pasta water either because you will be using that for your cooking Alright, we've got pasta is ready. So off the heat. It took about eight minutes to do to do this. So butter is melted. So I'm just gonna kind of cheat a wee bit. I'm going to add the butter into here, and then I'm gonna slowly add my pasta. Now comes the bit where what we've all been waiting for. Mixing the, the egg and cheese mix in. We might add in our might add in our egg. Let's see to try and so I have to try and prevent the scrambling process by just picking it up. Just making sure everything's covered. I'm 
turn the heat on a wee bit. Just so, because I want to, I want to make sure the egg is cooked before I. But what you want to do is just make sure everything is covered. Don't want to be stirring it too much because you will scramble your egg. Okay for a wee bit, I guess, but essentially you just want to make sure all your it's covered. I'm just going to let it cook for a, a, a wee second and uh, I will just add some extra salt, a bit of pepper and then I'm now going to go through it and find the, the garlic. And then what you want to do is just have a wee taste test, see if it's alright and then season accordingly and then serve with some extra grated parmesan or the, the porroncino, pe pepperino, pecorino. 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 Pecorino, yes. Serve with some extra pecorino. And now I'm going to take off the heat. Add a wee bit extra pasta water. Not too much. Now it's probably not going to be a very authentic carbonara, but it does taste nice. It uses, I, I think, some authentic Italian cooking techniques using the using the pasta water and stuff like that. But I am just an amateur chef. But it's creamy, it's nice, I would say healthy. Because we're not using cream, we're just using eggs. We're just using eggs for it, so instead of like cream, I guess the most unhealthy probably bit would be And then the cheese, I guess. The eggs and cheese are probably the most unhealthy part about this meal, which makes up two parts of this meal. I would recommend it. Now if you did like this content please give the thumbs up button a click, hit the notifications down below and make sure you leave a comment because I always reply to people who comment and hit that subscribe button. I've now just hit 300 subscribers and I know this is going off the variation of the, the woodwork stuff but this channel is always and will always be a variety channel. It's not just going to be woodworking alone, woodworking is one of my big hobbies but so is content creation food. I enjoy making food and making vlogs and everything. So everything I do is based around my interests and yeah, hopefully you make this and enjoy it. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Also, just on a side note, if you do want, I, I did talk about my friend Nick earlier. If you do want to see him boxing, it was his first time boxing, you can click the link below and yeah, have a look at, check him out.